Welcome to Teach Me Maths. My name is Jonathan Hicks and today we're doing division. Now there are two kinds of division. You've got your short division and your long division. Short division is where you divide by a single digit like 9 or 5. Long division is where you're dividing by more than one digit like 13 or 27. This is the long division video but you need to know how to do short division before you can do long division. So if you can't do short division dividing by a single digit go and watch the short division video first then come back here and watch this. So this is long division. I've got a nice big number for us to divide into. We're going to do 89,984. I'm going to divide that by 16. So again, the reason you know this is long division and not short division is because the, di the number here has got two digits. It's more than one digit. So it's the bus stop method again. So the smaller number, the 16, goes on the outside. There's my bus stop. And the big number sits underneath the bus stop, like so. Now there are two ways of doing this. There's the big complicated way, which fills up lots of space. I will show you that because some of you will have been brought up with that method and you just want a little reminder of how to do it. But then I'm also going to show you how you can cheat and do long division with short division. So you might prefer that and you can do that instead if you want to. So it starts the same way as short division, 16 into 8. Well, that doesn't go, so you need to put a zero there. 16's go to 8 in no time. So then you're going to say, how many 16's go into 89? Now, at this point, we've got a bit of an issue. I don't know my 16 times table. And most of the time, if you're dividing by a two-digit number, unless you're really lucky and you get 11 or possibly 12, you're not going to know the times table. So what I recommend you do right at the start is write out the times table. Just work it out at the side. So 116 gives me 16. Two 16s, if I just add another 16 onto that, it gives me 32. Now three 16s, again you just add another 16 on, that's going to give you 48. And so we're going to keep going here, we're just going to add 16 each time to get the first few numbers from our 16 times tables. This might take you a while, that's fine, you do need to do this. Just be very careful, add up the numbers each time and work out what you're going to get. Um, for all of your 16 times table. You might wonder how far you need to go. Mm, it's difficult to tell. Do seven or eight of them, see how it goes. And if you need to know any more of them, you can always come back and add some more on the end. So that'll do for now. As I say, if we need more, we can come back to here. So 16 into 89, well, that's going to go one, two, three, four, five times. 96 would be too big. Six sixteens are too big, so we're going to go with five sixteens. So it goes in five times, and again, you always write the answer at the top here. And then, however many times, or what, what you get from five times sixteen, so the eighty in this case, you write that underneath. So underneath the eighty-nine, you write eighty, and then you do a little subtraction sum. So nine minus nothing gives you nine, and eight minus eight gives you nothing. And I don't need to bother writing that zero there. Then, having done the subtraction, you take the next digit and it drops down to sit next to this one you've got here. So the 9 comes down to here, making this into 99, and that's the next division you've got to do. So you're saying, how many 16s go into 99? Well, 99, it'll fit in that many times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So your 6 goes at the top there, and 6 16s were 96, so you write that underneath again. Do your subtraction, 9 minus 6 is 3, 9 minus 9 gives you nothing, don't need to bother writing anything there. Then the next digit, just like before, drops down. So the 8 is going to come down next to the 3 to make 38. How many 16s in 38? Well, that'll be too big, so it's only going to be two 16s. So you write your 2 above your 8, and two 16s make 32, so you write 32 down there. Again, you do the subtraction. 8 minus 2 is 6, 3 minus 3 is nothing. And your final digit then is going to drop all the way down to here to make 64. How many times does 16 go into 64? 1, 2, 3, 4. It goes exactly 4 times. So you put the 4 there. In theory you would write the 64 underneath here, do the subtraction and get nothing. Once you get nothing and you've run out all your digits, then that means you've finished, you've stopped. 
If you do ever get nothing at any point in here, that just means you've got no remainder, but you can still carry on with exactly the same method. So the final answer is 5,624. I'll perhaps just write that there. 5,000, oops, 624. Now that's the traditional way of doing long division. It does take up a lot of space though, and mixing in the subtraction with the division and this whole dropping the numbers thing down can get a bit complicated. And a lot of people struggle with that traditionally. So I'd like to show you another way of doing it where essentially you're just doing short division. So let me show you how it works. We'll get rid of all that. We'll do the same numbers. So you can see, you can compare the two. We'll get rid of our answer there. You do still need to know your 16 times table. So you still have to work this out at the start. It's just this bit that's going to lock, look a lot simpler. So you say 16 into 8, again that goes nothing. And so you say 16 into 89. Now again, from before, 6 is 16 into 89 go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So you write the 5 above there, but then you just work out the remainder like you would do for short division. 5, 16 to 80, we're going up to 89, so the difference is 9. So just write that remainder, just like short division, on the next column. That turns the 9 into 99. 16 into 99, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The answer goes on top from 96 up to 99 is 3, so the remainder is 3. So you put that on the next column. 16 into 38, well that's going to go 2 times. From 32 up to 38, the remainder is 6. So you stick that on the next digit. And 16 into 64 go 1, 2, 3, 4 times. Job done. Wasn't that easier? Now, personally, I much prefer that method of just doing short division for any of the long division questions. The only extra thing you need is you have to work out the times tables first. And this is the thing that takes all the time. Once you've got that, this becomes really easy. So I strongly recommend, if you ever need to do any long division questions, just do it by short division instead. Work out the times table, and it's exactly the same. My name's Jonathan Hicks, and you've been watching Teach Me Maths. Thank you.